How do you transform any old bit of coax cable into an antenna? One that works on 80, 160 and possibly other bands as well? The answer is you need a special type of antenna coupling unit called a magnetic loop tuner. Keep watching to find out what it can do and how easy you can build one yourself. With the low sunspot cycle, there's a lot of times where just having 7 to 28 megahertz is not good enough for portable operating, even during the day. That's where a loop like this can be handy, giving you 3.5 and 1.8 megahertz capability with only a roll of coaxial cable and the loop tuning unit. MFJ sell them commercially in both high power and low power versions or you can build your own from plans on the web. I'll go to AM. Here I'm doing some whisper on 80 metres using the 15 metre perimeter loop. Cradle 
What if you wanted to cover higher frequency bands? What you see is the circuit diagram for the magnetic loop tuner. But if you wanted to, you could add a coil here and another socket for the transceiver and then you make it into an L match. You aren't using this variable capacitor or the socket here but you are feeding the signal from the transceiver here and you've got your coil here that is earth and that's your variable capacitor you just connect your n-fed wire here you wouldn't use that connection and that makes it into an L-match an alternative if you've got a switch but no extra antenna socket is just to have the switch here so you're switching between the variable capacitor used in the magnetic loop tuning network and the coil when you do that, again, you make it into an L-match. And you're using this connection for the antenna. You're not using this connection at all. Though you might want to bring the ground connection out to a terminal on the panel so you can connect your counterpoise. This arrangement is a good idea if you've only got a few variable capacitors or want to save space by only carrying one antenna coupling unit around. This has been a worthwhile project. Only two parts and some coax cable, but it gives you a useful antenna for portable use on 80 and 160 meters. And if you try different lengths, then you should be able to get other bands as well.